hello everyone so in the previous two videos we discussed about erp sap history of sap features of sap sap r by 3 architecture sap net weaver what is a bap what are the various modules of sap now we will proceed further in this particular video we will learn how to log in into sap or how to put the server details sap server details now whenever i want to log in into sap server your pc should have a sap logon pad with the help of this sap logon pad we will connect to sap server or in other sense i will say we will add our sap server into this sap logon pad and we will connect to sap server now we will learn the process for the same I am double clicking on to SAP logon pad. Now, in this SAP logon pad, I already have one server added. But I will show the full process how to add a server into SAP logon pad. There is a new button. Click on to this new button. Click on connection. Click on next. Now you have to fill these details whenever we want to connect to SAP server. Generally, in the projects, SAP basis person will give you the server details or whoever is whoever is the administrator who is handling this SAP system, he or she will provide us the server details. Now I will open a notepad and I will show you the reference how to add the server details. I will copy the application server. I will pass. I will copy the instance number. I will pass. I'll pass the system ID. Now, I have not passed the description, but description came automatically. And this description is a concatenation of your system ID and application server. System ID and application server. It means if you are not passing a description, the system will automatically take the description from your system ID and application server. You can rename also if you want to rename. Suppose I'm simply giving the description SAP server. You can give your own description to this SAP system. Now, we passed application server instance number system id but what is the meaning of all these terms anyways sap basis person is giving us these details but we will understand or we'll go for some overview of these terms so i'll go for these terminology the first one is application server now, what is application server? It is the IP address or host name of our SAP application server. Generally, whenever, suppose if I want to open some URL also, it will hit a particular IP. So whenever you want to connect to SAP server, so you have to give the IP address or host name of the application server. 
in this particular example i gave the host name of my sap application server so here you have to give the host name or ip address of your sap application server now instance number what is instance number it is the number which sap basis person gives during installation whenever sap basis person is installing the sap system he will provide some instance number instance number is always two characters long it means it varies from 00 to 99 in this particular example i gave the instance number 15 now what is system id system id is a unique identification of every sap system and this unique identification or system id is same sap basis person is giving to the sap system whenever he or she is installing the sap system now system id is always three characters long suppose in this case i gave the system id as ab4 and description you can put any description if you are not passing any description it will take from the combination of system id and application server so these are the meaning of these terms application server means ip address or host name instance number two characters long which sap basis person is giving to the sap system during installation system id is a unique identification of your sap system and it is three characters long now i will click on to next button i will click on to next button now i will finish now you can see that particular entry is added into my logon pad this entry was previously present now one more entry is added to sap logon pad now if we want to connect to that particular server we simply have to double click on to that particular server and if we want to check the properties of that particular server you can simply right click and you can check the properties of that particular server what are the properties of that particular server now i will double click on to this server i will double click and you can see this is the logon window of your sap system means i can connect to the i connected to the sap server but if i want to work in sap i have to pass the username and password in the first video we discussed sap is a user based license agreement you can connect to sap server okay if you find some server details you can connect to sap server but to work in sap you should require a username and password now i will give some username and password now before giving the username and password we also discussed one feature that sap is a multilingual software multilingual means it is available in multiple languages and you can see we have logon languages coming by default english language is coming but we can change the log on language depends upon the customer whatever the customer wants to log in into one language or dedicated language now i will give 
username and password. Now, every SAP system has a client number. Once we will proceed further in our lectures, we will go into more detail what is the client number of SAP system. So if you want to log in into SAP, you have to pass username and password and log on language. By default, English is the log on language and you can change the log on language depends upon the customer. Now I am pressing it. Now, whenever we log in into SAP, the first screen which is appearing is called as SAP Easy Access screen. This is the first screen appearing in SAP. Rest, we will continue in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much.